Welcome, <clears throat> welcome, welcome to uh, Factory Modded in my SpaceX K2. And we just did a patch that means you can do delivery cannons on spaceships and point defense on spaceships. And I'm like, wow. Okay, so that's, that actually changes quite a few things. Um, I need my little. This is her rock or something. Currently my ships uh, can't do delivery cannons, it means you can actually, if you can do delivery cannons and defences, it means you can do mobile defences. So all these like remote uh, star systems I've got, like this one at Cordova here. This little satellite here, I wouldn't have to set up this. I guess park a ship here and have a docking clamp and the ship can just automatically bring uh, me a point defence. As it needs to, when it runs out, defending it, it's just, it's just going to defend the satellites, right? That's the whole point of doing this. Because currently, this is like a one-off thing. I've got no ships to resupply this, unless I build a rocket to resupply. And I never got around to doing the rocket to resupply. That's seeing way too much work. Uh, I was not going to do that. So, yeah, that's cool. Um, changes. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, um, trick is, do I actually want to build a ship that does point defense? I mean, I think, uh, the metered point defense is actually the better ship. So I might design a media point defense ship. I think that'd be quite cool. I mean, I was playing around on my, um, my freighters last time, and I was just turning these things off slowly to, uh, get them onto the new way of calculating things. I hadn't put this off the ship yet, this is the antimatter stream. I was going to put that off the ship for um, the launching, because it's meant enough fuel to get a return trip anyway, so the launching ship should have that. But I think the ships are pretty good. Um, I added a shield to it, and oh it's just docked. That's a good timing. Um, and I've also already dropped down the fuel here, so I've only got these two. I had put I had put it, but I just had um, hooked it in. I see. I think I was doing it on this one over here. So this one's got it, and the red, red and green on both. Don't know whether whether that was the right way of doing it. Problem is I've added a uh, request from. Buffer chests over here. I was trying to empty out the ships, but I don't kind of. Not a good idea, but maybe it empties it out faster. I've had more of these buffer ship buffer um, chests. Did send more Nacotite around, but I'm not trying to get more Nacotite. I'm just trying to like learn the new mechanics as they add them to the game. So the new mechanic right now, what I'm trying to work on, is this cannon ship. So I might start building a cannon ship. Um, I think this is a good blueprint for a cannon ship. So we'll just copy that. Um, cannon defense. Uh, my mobile point defense. Not like that. Um, ah, oh. V1. Yep. And all tiles. I think I'm just going to remove all the stuff that I don't want. I mean, we're not going to have any of this. That's all extra, I don't need it. Um, or maybe these things. Maybe they're worth it. That's where we fuel it up. And this stuff kind of useful. Uh, that was the water pump down there, so we'll leave that there for lining, uh, lining up purposes. Cool, so that makes it uh, aligned. Great blueprint. That, what's this here? Unknown key, item names, generic output, generic clamp waste. Okay, so that's a clamp, but then this is an unknown key. That's curious. 
Okay, so we've got a new ship. Um, probably just dump it over here, to be honest. I've got a bunch of shit we brought along an accident, but that's fine. No, I could just design it closer to home. Um, over this way is probably a bit better. Though, do I have fuel over here? I've got iron ship. Maybe the iron ship's fine, actually. I mean, I should be like building a, re a version of this. The iron drive ship might be better for the point defense. But it's kind of earlier on. And it's kind of slow. I need to get the logic going for Vanessa as well. Let's go figure that part out. That's my video upload. It's fine, it seems. Cool. I'm actually uploading all my kinchi stuff lead to um, interwebs, which is good. Alright, because um, mm, I've already got the antimatter one, I can always downgrade it to the, to the other one. So... Just line it up um, with this. Here or something. That's where we try to put that down. That's fine. We should actually include the uh, water pump and all the rest of it as part of the blueprint for the ship. So it's always got everything it needs. I still gotta get this um, victory ship actually give me a victory. I've gotta build more of these uh, condenser turbines. I was gonna build uh, like a row of them to deal with the output. But I didn't get around to it. I think the way I'd do it would be to doesn't like there on either side. And then, put, and then I don't have to have the buffer at all, at all. I think you can have two of them. So if you might have to do four, you do one there and then another one down here on both sides. And then there's no tank. Get rid of this uh, storage tank. This should be a process in real time, so you won't need to, won't need to waste, waste time doing it. I could just do that right now, but um, I'm working one thing at a time. I put my uh, beginner print to the start, and let's get this ship down. We don't want this stuff, and we don't want any of this stuff in the middle here. Um, we've got a lot of readjustments to do on this ship. Oh, they're they're too fast. Burning like real quickly. All right, looks like it's um done good, done good. So I can probably put um defenses in all this middle bit here, right? So rip this out. We've got the space here too, so I could use um. All this. I really should make a small design though, like earlier on. But because I'm not early on, I'm going to be using like this big beast version. So we got um, what are they called? The cannons. I can't remember what they're called. But these delivery cannon. I could just pop one of these on, right? Nice you can actually place them. Um, it's not that, it's a defense thing. What are they called? I can't remember. What are these things around here? It's probably right staring me in the face, and I just don't see it. 
Uh, might be one of these other. Might be the military check. Oh, yes, we can deliver a canyon. Yeah. So that's the media defense installation, but I, don't, I want the actual the media this point defense one. This is very what I want. So the ship itself. Um, I don't want to lay this out. I mean, I can I can I can change this. I can move this all around. I've got to figure out how I'm gonna lay it out first. So we do one like this. You can do sharing chest. Can I like share four of them? One chest. Other one belts. Would that work? One chest. Well, good individual chest is better. Otherwise, your individual chest like that. And then you just do a um, request a chest and all that sort of stuff. So that and do that. The chest. I mean, I could do a. a Buffer chest that holds it, holds it all as well. There's a lot of clamps. Oh my god, why well, I got 665 clamps? Alright, this is supposed to have, uh, what's it called? Meteor point defense. So it's 50, but I like this one better. Um, I think it's better because these things here, um, I guess very low range. We can shoot four meters per volley, whereas the, um, the bigger one. Well, this thing is just monstrous big. This is too big. Like, it defends the whole planet. Only shoot one meter at, at a time. 20, mega, me, 20 megawatts of power draw too, whereas this is, um... I don't even know what that is. What's the power draw on this? This thing hits four up to four, but the accuracy of fifty percent means I only hit two, right? So I'm probably only multiples of four. Maybe twenty is a better number. Yeah, let's just do that a few times. So, um. Needs to park like a little ship like that, so I think eight of them should be enough to cover a whole, whole, whole area, 100% cover. The range is only 64, so I don't know if we can see the range on this thing. It's quite small. I think that's the range. So you need lots of ships though to that. It's not so good. Hmm, maybe it's better doing the other one. It's not the idea of that for like a real small outpost. But when you build like these massive solar locations. Oh, well, this place here, right? Beaming the um, dimensional anchor power. This thing is huge. It needs a lot more defense. I mean, it's not even hooked up properly. This thing, uh. Report there. Empty space. What? We built it. That's awkward. May got destroyed. Could have. This thing's been hit by a lot of stuff. I don't know if I can dial the um stargate.
but it's doing alright. It's got a bunch of stuff here. It's got the little cannons for the just the launching pad, but the range of them is just sad. Then you got the big ones, but they've run out of uh, cannons. Yeah, they ran out a long time ago, I suspect. I didn't give them much. I didn't give them enough to get me to the in game launch once. This thing's got uh, 5,000 research points though. Launch. I'm supposed to be sending this back to uh, my home. Now I've got plenty in orbit. Now this orbit. How much science have I got? I know they, I deliver quite a lot for that. It's meant to go... These... Okay, I got 4,600 and it's got 16,000. That asteroid probe route is a bit OP. How have I got so many of them? Not much star probe data though. But... I think it's under 3k that it actually it goes, it does its thing. I'm just pottering around the surface here. My products. But I'll go carry on the building the orbit thing. I've got this uh, ship we start building. We're gonna decide, am I gonna do this cannon? I'm saying I think I shouldn't. And if I do the other one though, I need 12 of them. Shit, how am I gonna fit 12? It's gonna be a big ship. I have to go to my, um, this type, type size ship. We'll use, we'll use, um, this thing when it gets back. Hmm. Big ships. Eight destroyed entities. Really? That sucks, man. That's why I need these uh, ships to go out and repair my my poor solar panels. We're going out there to repair stuff. Oh, look at these big, big rocks. Oh, they're re rebuilding them at least. Got some spares here. And repair packs. Oh, look at that. They don't give a shit, they lost eight. They just rebuild them. I must have set this place up a bit better. But they've, they've run out of rocks. So I need to get this. Really, on a spaceship. Not gonna fit on this, is it? Look at this. Look how big this is. So, I could duplicate this ship to the right. Um, this is this this thing here, right? So you, I can push this out by a tile. Maybe safe still. They got drift in, so I kind of want that's fine doing that. But then, yeah, we do that. We go that way. Otherwise, you're gonna need I need like three ships. I can't fit it on one. The docking stuff's gotta go though. This is no good. Um, I did not copy the. Oh, it's got the signals. That's fine. All right, let's go make some more room. So, what that means is the ship's going to be designed. It's going to be that thick, and all the rest of the stuff's been moved up. It might be the right size anyway. The we there, not that. Let's get rid, get rid of one laser. A weird ship design. Let's start it. 
Um, we're gonna go across out this way. Rip these up. Through that. Walls are gonna go. I think this thing's gonna have to move too. Kinda like these though. These are um these pylons are already good. Probably move it down a few tiles. Under there, be fine. Let's blow the reactor. And we can paste those cannons. Yeah, they can go right there. That's good. Oh, I went further south. One further south, probably be okay too. Yeah, we'll do one further south. Can't build it. Why oh, you can't build it? Oh, there's only the little ones. Can not build that one? There's only meter point defense, not the big one. That sucks. Ah, oh, they tricked me. I thought it was these ones. It's only the little ones. Who's launching? My big, my big Bertha. With my extra uh, buffer chest requesters. This helps a little bit. We should redesign that ship. It's a good, good uh, hole though. I could design a real weird ship where um. Like a real elongated ship, so it's like a big, uh, like this. For maximal, like, how, what design would I do for maximal surface area of point defense? Like, it's not going to be a concentrated ship, that's the worst design. So, you'd, like, probably an X space design. So, you'd have, like, point defense up here, another one up here, another one down there, down, down there. What's the square where the inside's got the and the outside's got the stuff? You do need an engine though to get there and a reactor, but ignoring that, you can do the rest is fine. Like this is kind of required, and so is that. Um, you could do more lasers out this way, another reactor. You could probably stick to the amount of engines, but. Something like this could work out. Uh, I'm not how far south. I'm trying to get a feel for uh, where I can design this. Hmm. I mean, like, I don't know, I'm gonna defend it. I don't need, I don't need like, like getting it there is a problem. Maybe just send there on a normal ship. And the normal ship though has the parts to build defensible ship. But no, but it has to come back. It has to be a fly back though. Let's see how this works anyway. I don't think it's going to work so well. But we can make this a lot thinner as well. It's a bit thick right now. I'm just trying to get the size estimate. I calculate it. it. Might tell me fills up what the actual mass is. I think it's almost finished doing a integrity check. Doing a 
uh, the reactor fueling up, doing its thing. Right, I think it's a couple more walls. I'll start grinding out uh, factory eight. It's gonna be very slow to do it, but that's fine. All right, let's do a integrity check. So it's only fifteen hundred. Huh? You can do a real big shit then, because you do a real thin. So these um. These are very small, but you do need like lasers and stuff and shields. I mean, you could get away with um, a shield here. How are you going to protect this? And another shield? It's going to need a lot of power, eh? That's a problem with this sort of thing. I mean, I could go to like a full on antimatter design. I'm trying to be a bit budget here to do it like an early design, but you can just do a late design, late game design. I think it's going slow. You could probably just get away with doing a shield, right? You wouldn't need uh, lasers, you just need like a few lasers. So. Like that might be enough defense, for instance, it's going slow. And the, the real trick then is. Um, Actually, having ability to build. Um, another report. That's the thing. Do any more reports? What am I thinking for this design? I want, I want to do these media point defenses, right? Or do they defend it on the ship itself? That's the weird thing. Like, if they can shoot the meteors. While I'm flying somewhere, <laughs> you won't need uh, you won't need lasers. You just got these, these these little putters. I always do a test launch. That's weird, that's only 1500, it seems way too little. I mean, I guess this thing is actually quite dense. And it's got a lot of engine space, so... Could actually do a lot of stuff in these ships, I guess. Um... Let's put another... Not to space it out, optimally. I mean, two of them is kind of a good area. I mean, put another one way down here or something, you know? Down here or something. But I might make it smaller. The buggers destroy my stuff. Oh, I need need the walls though. That size. I wonder how the um. For the streamline, 24%. I guess I can do the side one though as well, these... Um, I mean, I don't want them over this way, but if I do... Out here... How big can I make this ship? Yeah, that's a question. This thing's gonna take forever to research. I don't even know I've got enough um, science of all types available. Looks like I do. It's gonna be a bit slow. Right, they built that pretty quick. Let's get the walls. I 
You know, I don't actually need that as well. It can actually be a thin um, skeleton. The whole point of this is to defend a massive area, basically. But not take up much room up. So I can have like a thin gap between this. I mean, that was just to make sure it's right, but then I can do a groups of four. I don't know how many you want. I mean, each these do four each, 50%, so that's only four rocks each. I mean, I could do groups, I could do bigger groups. I can do uh, like that. That's going to need the uh, rope one, aren't I? And the power pole. Is there a power line to that? Does that give power? I think so. 64 supply area. I think that's about as thin as I can get it. I mean, I could just put an engine on the bottom of this, but... Um, it's no point, really. The oh, point is that the 3% thing, as long as it doesn't hit down there, it's fine. Looks so like this thing is uh, out of range. It is too far. Let's see that works. What's the size at? Nineteen hundred. Wow, you can make really like thin, long ships, can't you? It's the most awful design ever, but it's it's, it's a work in progress. So you probably like you know want to trim this st sort of stuff. Just fine. The, the walls are more for visually moving what I don't want afterwards. I think you can just do a single line, but to connect up. I mean, that's now got power, so we can do a test without uh, the whole thing. We'll keep that there for the test though. I'm going to get rid of these outside bits. Yeah. It's like a little tiny little platform for uh GPU. And of course you can you can probably invert design the solar panels if you want to like oh, don't do that. if you want to do it proper. Don't know where that will bother. I'm just trying to see how it looks. I don't mind this bit. This is not too bad. Um, so I got no. Uh, Three, just fine. Oh, it's all that. I want it on top, eh? The blueprint it. Get a few tiles. Got 
those tiles. I lost the side there. I could do it out, out this side as well. Things are like this, like that, if I do groups of four, they do eight defense, which is most things. It's quite a good range that it's it's gonna protect a lot of big area. Those two are kinda of close. If I could move this down further. That's alright for, for a starter. Oh, that's a little bit. Why is it all funky? Doesn't look right at all. I mean, that looks quite good. I mean, it's got this. This is more the the robot is just more for um, delivering the goodies. It's not really for anything else. With the range of that thing, probably okay. Is there a bigger one that's making it? Yeah, this thing's kind of making it, so I don't know what the actual range is. Uh, I suspect that I'm gonna need another one on each of these. Where was hollow bit? I can just make it like this, right? Little spindles. So. You can remove all the outside. Streaming the single, we can do we do the double for now. Just to keep it um, logical. Even the centre bit here, there's nothing in there, right? We actually don't need any of it. Um, but we'll just hook it in, just so it's. Available and then these can do the same. I'm gonna balance. I was gonna be. Well, that was, that was kind of a surplus one, wasn't it? All these extra lasers that we might need, but I don't know. I got the. I don't really have the engines for it anyway. about this uh, side part it's gonna basically get totally destroyed when the rocks slam because I've got a corner laser situation design spaceships they said It'd be fun, they say. It is fun. Okay, that's fine. Figure out how to do it, that's all. Look at this, um... My spindle. Uh, the cannon's spindle ship. Well, that, like, looks like a weird hammerhead. Like a needle. It's such a small, small um, footprint as well. Hardest part about it is actually pretty um, docking it. 
I'm gonna have to make a big uh, dockyard just for these type of ships if I do make this thing. That's the um, water. Get the water sorted. Cool. Looking good. Um, let's do it the original ship, which we've got to hollow out. We don't need it. We got the right idea though. I could just shove another one of these out here. We're not all like this sort of thing out here. I'm not sure about these gaps. Like, will the lasers be enough to stop the ship flying through and break the ship in two? Or will I need a laser and defenses on, on these? Will the, will the things drift down sufficiently to create in the bottom like this? I'd like to another spindle out here, for instance. In here. I don't know how far up we should do it. Gotta look at this integrity anyway. Yeah, 1200 now. So it's unstable. That's because of all this here. That's by design. I might just do that then. We'll assume that we need two thickness to not break. Cool. Alright, let's do the... I mean, this is not... This is not even ideal. I've got to redo this. This is looking a bit busted. Why is it so wonky? Really wonky. There needs to be a... A robot. Maybe the robot distance is the actual optimal. To put it uh, not that far. Let's put a bunch of stuff that we can trim off. The way this thing works is you gotta remove four tiles. Now, don't be too far away though, because then the lasers won't overlap enough. Should be okay though. The thing is, it gave me um, 56% streamline just from those two. And the idea of the ship though is a uh, hollow cavity in the middle for solar panels. So it's going to dock in the middle of this will be um, my side panels. Now the projection of this probably means you can have them way out this that far. I'm not sure I should put it on the bottom here. Or whether I just keep putting it on the top and go down. Put it on the top and go down, right? So Build it out. Build it and they will come. Um, redesign the locations. Report. Could move all the shield and all the rest of it. Could redesign this actually. Let's have a look. So, one at central, below the shield. Move it further down. This can only move down under here. I have to move this, this whole thing though, which is kind of annoying. I don't think it kind of paste that stuff so well. I'll try. Might kind of paste better than it used to. It needs to be very forgiving. Hmm. 
It might be better anyway. So I'm not going to have a thinner um, deck part here. I can just actually just join up with all that and rip all this out. I should move it up a couple tiles so it's right next to this. That would make more sense. Unless I intend to have a sparser ship, then I might not want to do that. Need two more tiles up. the rest of the ship first. That's my buffer chest. That'll do for now. The only thing is this, this uh, cavity of the ship should be emptied out. Get a bit more trimmer. Um, let's just do like a caveat like that. Follow that out. I think I need it too thick. I just need to do one thick there. Spaceship design. I like it. Right, so um, ship slave can be less recognizable. I mean, we can make this even smaller again, but um Few tiles, I guess. The only show I have is it changes your console number every time you rip it up. Which is kind of annoying. Those angels look so barren now. I mean, really, they should be way down, like in here or something. I don't know. It doesn't can be anywhere, but it's just easier to feel feel on the outside. Yeah. 
Yeah, not sure about this design now. So, we can hollow it out. Not so bad. Now I need to, uh, oh, what's the actual mass of this thing? Room 47. No, that's quite good. Got all this here to use. Um, I'm going to use this. Push it over. It's the row port's been moved south, so I can actually move this over here now. There. You put the laser above. Remove all that above actually. Then all this is our alignment. Um, I think that's fine. We've got a blueprint of it, so we can just pop it down straight below this. So. That's fine. Is it the right tile? That tile. Looks like it is. The thing is about this thing is um quite visual. You can see how far apart it should be. So if one's here for instance. Go out to here to get the next one. I don't know how many tiles exactly. Something like there or something it might be pretty good. It's a weird ship though. I don't want to defend it, uh, the in betweens. They've got these little prong shields and stuff. I don't know how to max size the ship, might be too big. Might be too wide. We'll find out pretty quickly. The Skeletor. Go there. Oh, I'm gonna pop this one. I, mean, I can even just move the engines. I could just put the engines at the bottom of this each. I only need like, um... I think that I could do 8 engines. That's a bit fast, I think. If I just do this head above this and another head above that, then I need, um... I'm not sure about this. I need something in the middle here to hold this. Plus the row ports are too far apart. I need... On there and then yeah I should do it based on rope ports actually rather than defenses because I think these defenses cover it quite well rope ports are no good though I just need one rope port up here to connect them together Oh, and I've got the uh, that thing. 
That was not quick to lap at all, was it? Who's there? So close to being an easy spot. I need a couple more robots, I think. Um, 4x4. Four four. Man, this thing gets hit by an asteroid, it's gonna get so screwed. I'm gonna get wrecked. So it needs these um, radar construction pylons in range. It's quite a good area that it protects. So you can build panels inside. Any more panels outside? It's up to here, all that. I mean, the ship could actually have the panels as part of its design. Don't want me to do it, Chris. That one goes to the edge of that, so. There, isn't it? Okay. I could I could think about something about the engines. I could I could put the engines on the um this is out of alignment now, I see. But it's not too bad to fix. I just bump this here, right? Push up a tile. That's fine. Rips it up quickly though. It's not even the best uh, design for uh, lasers either. It's very too many lasers. Make the ship really slow. Not stupidly slow. It'll be fine. I'm doing like a jagged top as well. Not quite sure about that. So we need to hook in uh... that, that's fine. Just quicker to do these jagged diagonals. Cool, this is one good. Wow, such a weird design. I was gonna need buffer chest, I suspect. That's fine for now. Could do an in between one in the middle there. Is 
diagonals. That one. That one. Yes. Range design. It's powered though, so that's what matters. And the robots can get down there and deliver it. So I think that's actual is good. Try to another one in the middle here. Maybe two of them. I think one or two of them. I think one. Lays have got good coverage. That's a weird shot. It's like a it's like a, making like an old um uh, World War One plane. I mean I, to, I probably should move this sort of shit somewhere nice and central as well. I mean technically this is actually the ship. And it's gonna carry it along all this. You know what I'm saying? I can actually probably uh detach it. I mean do like uh so that's how you do multiple ships, right? You have the the orbiting dock. So you dock to your docking ship. Your ship docking to a ship. I don't think that works currently, but imagine that'll be a thing. I can see this thing's out of range, can you? One tile out. Well, two tiles out. Um, gap, that's not good. So, I've done that right. I have to use those nicer robots. They can use a lot of power though, that these things here. 100 megawatts is a bit much. My fucking engines. And then we rip up. Well, this though we can actually um, I can put the reactor in there. I can move all this. Um, I can't like this on the outside though, because I think that because of the way it's designed, I need an outside one to stop the drift in. So I probably need this outside one to stop the drift. Maybe it's just a shield. I think I think lasers in it, in it is better than a shield in that regard. Drifters. I wonder if strips are even going to work. I don't even let me launch it. I might find it's uh, a bit too too wide. Crashes. I probably should give these uh, cannons some some fuel. I should get some defense. I don't know. I make them up here. I might not. I think very limited um, titles. Alright, I think that's enough for um, we a test launch at least. All idea is to protect the maximum surface area of panels. So look, what's the mass of this thing going to be? There is me quite little. Didn't succeed before. Fourteen ninety two. That's not too bad. Is it? It's got thirty two percent streamline, which is not to be sneezed at. Hmm. 
Looking pretty good, I think. Um, only question now is when I launch it, what's going to do? It's got all these robots and stuff. I think it's worth launching. This is such a weirdest, weirdest, weirdest ship I've made. Got no docking port though. And yeah, I'm not on board, so I'll do a test. This is um. This called um, space rock ship. <laughs> the space rock ship. Let's we'll see what works. I think it's gonna get hit, hit something. It might break into pieces too. It is. It's even called Vanessa. Oh, it's got no fuel. Whoops. Doesn't give it fuel. We can have a look at it though. Vanessa. Well, it does fit in space. It looks like the, there is no uh, size constraints. So let's you do your thing. How's the row ports? The bottom ones don't reach, but the rest of them do. Which is good. It's got, um... Might want to do... Might pull these up a couple times. We'll move these ones down. I suspect that these ones are, uh... Oh yeah, I did move those ones down, so this one didn't need to move down. Yeah. I can just dock again, I guess. Very fast and um... I'm not docking. But actually, it's so hard to dock. Oh my god, you can't see what you're doing. Look at this. It's such a big... And you can't zoom out? I think it's supposed to be about there. You have to load it back. I need a docking clamp for the space rock. It's just too big. Is it even loading? Oh, it is. Wow. That was real slow. Oh, I've got the famous thing. Why is it not showing on my thing? Uh, I'm so famous, I'm anti famous. So let's get some fuel in here. I'm losing my stuff. Oh yeah, I was going to green this. What's that? Landfill recipe from copper ore. What? That's so cool. You can aim for like ore. Huh, and land for from scrap. I didn't see that before. I should have space exploration. Pass the signal along. Oh, that's all hooked up then. Um, this stuff's not hooked up yet. I got no clamp. I don't know where I put the clamp either.
Where is Dark Dot here? Oh, I can't put it there. I know you can't put it where we want. It's what we're allowed to designate it. Um, down there's very work then. Well, the internal, internal clamp it. Might be better. Can we climb away over here? Mm, probably not. Can't climb away in the gap. The uh, right there. I got 20% of my research, which is quite amazing. Well, this is uh, not exactly cheap. This is 64,000 research, so. I've done a fifth of that, which is quite cool. I mean, I do have a lot of big buffer, so the buffer will run out, and then I'll have nothing, but that's fine. Over the floor. Damn it, they're too fast. Oh, yeah, you don't need this like this now. You need to. Oh, yeah, that, that doesn't need to be special for either. It can speed this shit. Shit and stuff. If I put it down now, will it the air be replaced? Could be. A dumb design. All right, let's move this down. So this is um, three tiles. Damn. I don't want to do this. I put. I just move. Oh, I put this the other way around. So I put the cannons above. Yeah. So what's blueprint? That and we turn it around. I'll get there, and that'll work much better. So we'll pull this out. Down a bunch of uh, more. Somewhere around there should work. So I'm fixed doing my um, cargo freighter refix. I mean, these well, this one's not even going. Doing nothing. I don't even know why. And a non travel time, doesn't even know where it's going. I think it's the old uh, logic on it. It's the old ship, I was supposed to. Uh... And these others are going, so that's fine. And they've got plenty of war. Alright, let's build it. It's. Uh... Look at this. Be there. Not 
quite fitting. But I'll fit it in. Sure stuff. That should work. No, so we ah, we shouldn't both at the same time. That would be a bit smarter. around there. And I could really move I can move all my uh, engines and the rest of it inside here in the future I want to. I reckon it's gonna hit rocks eh? It's not gonna work very well. We'll have to test fight it next time. So this is supposed to be the same height as this one. Feels like I'm doing like uh, video editing, paint shop, whatever. Alright, that should work. And then, uh, test flight next time. Doing alright though. Um, such a weird little cannon ship. I wanted to fly it though. Once. Just once. Should I do that very quickly? We're about ready to launch. So there's two wall tiles. Three launch. Unstable. What's this unstable in here? Looks fine. Read the unstable sections. Don't see them. Not oh, passed. Okay, that's good. All right, we'll do a save this time. Space rock ship. Yeah, we've got fuel, we've got lasers, we've got some shields. We should better fly. So, we've got a little bit of streamline, not much. Vanessa. This is a planner as well, which is kind of annoying. Is there a launch in?
But that took a lot of launch. Alright, we're gonna go to um, the star system uh, we're at. So we're at uh, Calidus, so we're gonna go to Calidus orbit. See how this goes. It's gonna be a bit awkward. How the rock's gonna do. What's the spears thing gonna be anyway? I mean, I even built even, even built more reactors, so we kind of don't have much in the way of uh, defenses. I was supposed to build more reactors for the ship. There we go. We're only going to 69, 70, so that's not too bad. I mean, so far so good. I mean, we keep it at 75, we might not even need um, any more than what we got. I mean, stuff the bottom. I think the stuff the bottom is going to get hit though, because the, the drift. Drift's going to get it. When we get less rocks, we need more space to out. Three minutes to Kala's orbit. Where it going? It looks like it's gonna be fine. We've got a lot of uh power seems to be okay, mostly. I mean we're basically running it uh Wow, max power a lot of the time. We are running out quite a bit. Pretty sure Cumulus on the ship. If we get too much faster, we're going to we'll, we'll be in trouble because the rock's just going to go through the middle here, you see. We're going to 77 though. Not too bad. Just a little... It's a prototype. Defender. Be useful though, um, if I ever did the game again, but uh, probably not useful. I was kind of keen to see this, the, I thought the cannons might shoot the rocks down, you see? I thought these things might shoot the meteors, because they are meteors, aren't they? And they're just rocks. Maybe like, detach. A ship like this or something. I don't know. I think the reason you do it, unless you do like real small ships, like a tiny ship that that's that big, and that's it, and it's got like one rocket, and you send it along, and it goes back and forth to defend like one part of your area. So you have lots of little ships, which makes sense. I mean, this ship's really struggling on the um, power because I got. I got all these extra lasers, and I haven't got uh, any more power generation. I think I can say it's a, that's a, that's a success though. I think it's going to be fine to get there. The question is, is it going to be useful? You know, I'm carrying a lot of, um, we got 700 logistic robots in this network, which is a bit much. Should have emptied that out. But this could be a builder ship. I can literally make a builder ship out of this. Um, and I could land on a planet as well. I mean, I could build a, build a base uh, in the middle of this, for instance. I mean, you couldn't do an early base for that, but you, maybe you could. Without the shields and just having, just having uh, lasers and having shitty engines, you probably could do it. I mean, your power source might be a bit different. The number of logistic bots was going up too. Really? 794, what? Oh yeah, it's um... It's cause uh... This chest has got some. So you think I'm too tired by um... I'm just trying out the new change, the meteor point defense is now 
convertible on your spaceships. So it's putting like using these for uh, remote defenses that can automate recall or go get more if they want. Or it's like when you go to a new star system or a solar orbit you can just set them up. They freaking hold a lot more capacity and then when they run out they go back home. But I guess when they go back home they'll be completely defenseless. We have to go back home before that. There's probably not much use for it though. I just kind of see, kind of, kind of like the idea of like building seed colonies. So I land on a planet with this, for instance. This would be pretty cool for um, a lot of, a lot of space to start up. Like you can do a whole delivery cannon base inside here. On my um, this base. That's it. That's my whole base. Like that's literally fits. Just about right inside that, and it's a delivery cannon base. So, you can just drop this down afterwards. I mean, I could rearrange it a little bit to fit around the spaceship. I mean, this is power poles on the outside, they don't really matter. Yeah. I mean, I could actually try to have a ship that's got the seaman on it. I can try to put my Dirty Cannon base on a ship. Maybe even better again. But, I don't know. That was a good test. Um, I'm going to log off. I might be back later. I just want to test this out. Just built it and tested it. And it's... I'm good. I'm about to dock. Let's see if the Calidus will dock. And see if it can defend uh, from... Stuff. Yes, that uh, that base does build uh, delivery cannon um, capsules as well. It's a, it's a, it can build robots, builds everything, builds everything you need on a on a on a planet. So, it's got a rocket as well, and it makes rocket fuel, and it makes uh, defenses. It's got all the robot stuff automated. Got a signal to request everything. Um, yeah, but the, yeah, it makes rocket parts, it makes rocket parts, it makes everything you need to go from planet to planet, you just go from one planet to next planet to next planet. I got it, I put it in five stages, so, um, the, the basic one is this one, this is just, just this is to get it started up. So this start here can build, can get the next stage going, um, and so on and so forth. I just all I did is just strip away bits each time, so it kind of made sense. And I had a, I got I already built a ship ages ago that can build these. It builds that. It has the requester chest to uh, take that to a planet and then set that up. It was. I think it was like the ship, Cuckoo Class 2 or something. I can't remember. Man, it seems so small now. Look at this, how small this is. Compared to this giant normal ship. This ship's only like, uh, it's only, it's only, uh, 1400 size. Which is amazing. It's like such a big surface area. Right, so that's anchoring that thing. Like, where can I even dock this? We're nowhere. This is this thing's too big. I need like lots of ships to better protect this place. Yeah. So this is a uh, a sixty gigawatt solar beaming in-game thing. So a bit bigger than normal ship. Anyway, that worked out well. Um, yeah, might as well save that. We'll send it back. Anyway, GG. I'm too tired. I'll be back later.